Hi, my name is Paul Curtis. I'm a partner in the litigation practice group at Axley Brendelson. For more than a decade, I have worked hard to defend people and companies who are sued in state and federal courts. Many of the people I help are in the agricultural industry. I represent agricultural cooperatives, feed mills, and retail stores all over the state of Wisconsin in a wide variety of matters, including bad feed and animal nutrition claims, trip and falls and other safe place claims, and trucking and auto accidents, and stray voltage claims, and claims involving milking machines. If a lawsuit is filed against you, or even if you think that you might get sued, it's important to take a number of steps to protect yourself. First, you should notify your insurance agent, your insurance company, or your lawyer right away. They will be able to help you. Second, you should make every effort to preserve the relevant evidence. It could be very helpful to your defense. If there's a bad feed or animal nutrition claim, you should try to preserve copies of any nutrition records in your possession, including past feed rations and computer programs relating to the rations. If you have a sample of the feed complained of, try to keep a sample of the feed in a sealed container with the date of the sample and the name of the person who took the sample. Keep a record of witnesses with their contact information along with a written statement. If there's an automobile or trucking accident, make sure you get a copy of the official police accident report, including the photographs and drawings, and witness statements. If there are other witnesses not listed on the accident report, keep a list of the witness names and contact numbers. If your company has an internal reporting procedure, make sure you follow the procedure and keep copies of the report and other records in a file. And keep copies of any relevant logbook entries too. And many cars and trucks have onboard computers. It may be a good idea to download or preserve this computer information for future use. Make sure to confirm that it's okay to repair a vehicle or scrap it before it's done. You want to make sure that the damages are recorded and the other side may want to inspect the vehicle too. And make sure to keep a list of the witnesses and their contact information. If there's a trip and fall or other safe place type accident, make sure to take photographs of the area where the injury occurred, keep copies of any maintenance logs. For example, if you keep records of shoveling snow or sanding and salting icy areas. If there's any physical evidence, for example, a gas pump or something tangible that's claimed to have caused an injury, try to preserve it. Again, keep a record of the names and contact information for any witnesses. Oftentimes it's a good idea to have the witness write down what he or she remembers right after the accident because memories fade quickly. This is just a brief summary. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. I'd be happy to talk to you at your convenience.